Hey guys, so this is my four week check in with you guys. I'm gonna be totally honest because I'm not one of those people who is gonna lie to you and be like, oh, we had a great week. We did all of the stuff that was on our list to do. We were had perfect training. We were just great. We had energy. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you all of that. Um, and as much as I hate doing this, making this video <laughs> and admitting this, I have to because it's our journey and I wanted to be able to share our journey with you guys. So in all honesty, this was a pretty cruddy week. Um, mostly because of the time change, it just destroyed us. I don't remember ever having such a horrible reaction to the time change before. Um, but this week I just had such a hard time getting up at a decent hour. I felt that hour that was lost so keenly I could not get to sleep I could not wake up I was just having a terrible time I'm adjusting slowly but it was terrible so it sapped all of the energy that did come after my menstrual phase <laughs> so that was great but it's also been perfect weather here in Florida as you can see I am fully enjoying the fact that today is a rainy chilly day and that I can wear a sweatshirt it is glorious um but chillier weather comes with also the need to get out and do the gardening before it gets hot again. So my mom's been out there constantly just getting that done. Um, for me personally, it's been a very stressful week. I've been trying to make huge decisions about my career, which has been extremely stressful. So I've had just bouts of anxiety over the past week and a half, which has been very, very difficult to deal with. Um, which again, when you have anxiety and high stress, it, it does sap your energy. It does just take all of that energy out of you and, <laughs> and then you're just shot. Um, so I've been trying to balance the stress with being positive. I've had a lot of career choices to make, um, a lot of big things that have changed in my life very recently, um, which maybe I'll announce eventually. I don't know, but we'll see. But on top of that, I've also had the, the strong urge to start writing again. So I have five books that are coming on, out this month, this year. Five, five books. That's it. Just it, it, It's a lot. So <laughs> I am publishing five books this year. I've been putting a lot of them off, and so that is what I've been really dedicating a lot of my time to. And then Julia is in a project um, that I was choreographing for. It's a um, a short film that's going to be entered into our local film festival and so she's been overwhelmed with this director who is <sighs> inexperienced in working with dancers and so it's been a little bit stressful for the both of us because we've had to battle with the fact that she hasn't been trained for five years she hasn't been in dance for five years and now all of a sudden she has to portray a professional ballerina <laughs> which any of you who have danced for any amount of time can know that that is a very difficult thing to do. It's a feat. And so she has been awfully stressed about that as well, and it affected her pancreas. And so she's had some pain and some um, just general discomfort, and that prevented her from doing a lot of the training as well, especially the sprinting type training. So I, I just can't even imagine. It must have been very very difficult for her to be able to do that so we didn't we put it all off now i will say with all of that going on we are still maintaining movement now this is something that i would tell my clients you know when they feel discouraged and they're like i didn't do anything that i was supposed to do this week i i didn't stick to the schedule i didn't do the workouts you gave me but i would ask them okay so but did you move did you stay active? Did you do something in replacement of that? And they'd be like, well, yeah, I, I, I kind of did. I mean, I, I exercised, I, I went out in the garden, I, I took a swim, you know, whatever it was, as long as they replace it with something else so that they're moving. Um, I'm like, you know what? You made progress. You did great. As long as you're not out eating fast food every day for every meal and sitting on your bed, doing nothing, I'd say that you've made progress. And so that is something I would tell my clients. So I'm trying to tell myself that, you know what, I have exercised. Um, I may have cheated a little and used a fitness app on my phone, but that's okay because, hey, I got a workout in. I'm staying active and fit. 
I may be sitting for long periods of time, but at least temp I will get up and move throughout the day. I'm still eating well. I'm still making sure I, I drink a lot of water. I'm making sure that I'm taking care of my body in spite of the fact that I have been stressed and I have not been sticking to the, the set schedule that I wanted for myself. And I can say the same about my mom and my sister and even my dad who was going through this program as well. We've all been sticking to a loose schedule. Sorry about that. I just drank a bunch of coffee. Um, we have been sticking to a loose schedule of staying active, staying hydrated, eating well. And even though I'm not showing it to you guys here on YouTube or even on Instagram, it's happening. And so that's progress. And so I can't be too hard on myself because we are doing stuff. I just can't, I just don't have video evidence of it. But the reason why I wanted to make this video and just not skip it completely is because I wanted to be honest with you guys that not everything always turns out the way we want it to. And even though I got training stuff done yet last week, um, this week kind of was a, well, watching my language, it was a crap show, okay? And that's okay. But I'm getting my energy back. I feel like I'm adjusting to the time change a little bit. I woke up at 7.45 this morning and it felt like it was 5 in the morning, but I did it. I got a workout in. I did my cardio. I ate a healthy breakfast. So I, I think that it takes baby steps and you will hit those plateaus every once in a while and you will hit those ruts and you will get discouraged, but just keep plowing through. And if you don't feel like doing a full-on workout, it's okay. You don't have to listen to your body. Listen to it. It's probably needing some extra rest. And if you feel like you want to go full out, do it. Do it. Go full out. Lift those weights. Do that cardio. Whatever makes you happy. Um, I would say though that regardless of whether you are really, really tired or if you are not feeling like you have any energy energy if it lasts longer than three days i highly recommend not just laying in your bed and not doing anything um make sure you're moving make sure you're you're walking um walking from your bedroom to the bathroom does not count <laughs> um, i tell people that all the time it doesn't count unless it's like all the way across your house go for a walk sit in the sun make sure you're getting movement fresh air even if it's cold outside just take a couple deeps of deep breaths of fresh air it's going to be able um, you're going to be able to feel a difference in your energy levels if you maintain that constant movement plus when you're tired your body tends to go into hibernation mode and so you want to move so that you get that blood flow and that's going to give you more energy so as tempting as it is for me to go ahead and you know take all the pillows off my bed right now and get curl up i know that that's not going to be good for me long term because i need to get that blood flowing and uh i just don't have time for that <laughs> so anyway i hope that you guys appreciate me being honest with you guys um I'm sorry I don't have any more to share with you today, but I'm hoping, hoping, because my energy levels are coming back, I'm hoping that I'll have more energy next week for our fifth week of training, because we are coming down to the wire on this thing, to at least go to the beach once and get the resistance of the sand as we're doing strength training and cardio, and at least get, my goal is at least to get two training, like actual training days set in stone. Um, even if it's just me doing it, that's fine. But I want at least two training days. We usually do three. Um, and then figure out something in between, like I might do another bar class or something. But that's my goal. I'm going to try to stick to it. Um, I keep telling you guys that I'm going to record more of our meals, but I always forget because I get really hungry and I eat it and I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to re record this. <laughs> so I will try my very hardest to do that next week, um, but I will not promise anything because I, I can't. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you are encouraged at least a little bit that even though I'm a personal trainer and I'm, you know, in this stuff and I'm getting ready for this 
fitness challenge and all of this stuff that even I fail and I'm not perfect all the time. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of personal trainers, um, are honest and they show how, how they fail in their daily life as far as fitness challenges go, but a lot of them don't. And so I want to be always honest with you guys that stuff happens and that's okay. So anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Thank you for joining me on this fitness challenge journey. I hope to have more interesting content for you next week. We'll just pray that I have more energy and that we are all able to get back on the saddle. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you next week, guys.